Hey guys, it's Lori Lovell Barr, host of In My City. This episode, I am so excited to have Kimberly Russell, owner of Classy Couture Fashions. Kimberly is one of the most awesome women that I know. Thank you so much for having us Absolutely. here. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Oh my goodness, she was um, in corporate America for about 25 years as a director of human resources. That was the last position, yes. Wow, that's awesome. And then retired after great service okay. and became your own boss. Became my own boss. Kudos yes. to you, sis. Thank I you. I love that. Thank you. I, thank you so much for having us here Absolutely. in the store. And thank you for being here with us on Sunday. You're closed usually I'm on closed Sunday. on Sundays, so yeah. So thank you so much yes. for having us Absolutely. here. But I love your store so much. Like. When I come here, people that I bring here, we love your store. I know, I know. And we, I'm telling you, like, I can become a shopaholic here. Yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, mm -hmm, please. Mm -hmm. and invite people, bring people, all that. Definitely, stuff, definitely. Yeah. So I'm just going to get right into it. Okay. What got you started? Why, why fashion? Um, let me go back a little bit. Okay. I've always loved fashions all my life. Mm -hmm. um, I come from a really big family, mm -hmm. um, so we didn't have a lot. So I vowed that when I grew up, and I start making money, mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy all the clothes that I wanted. Cause we were all, my mom had 10 kids, so we had like hand-me-downs. Yeah. So um, I would always get my sister's hand-me-downs and then when we go to school, um, when school started, we would get one or two outfits. When Christmas come, we get one or two outfits. Mm -hmm. So I always had a lot of hand-me-downs. So I said once I got grown mm -hmm. and um, started working, that I would buy lots of clothes, and I did. And what happened was I actually turned my, my fetish yeah. into a business. I so love that's that. what happened. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Love fashions. Always, always have love fashions. And why a boutique? Why? Um, because boutique is uh, boutiques are different. They're unique. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like a Macy's or a Dealers. Uh, if you buy mm -hmm. something, you may see your dress or outfit 15 more times. Mm -hmm. um, even though there's other boutiques out there, and sometimes we carry the same things. Yeah. There's a lot of times we carry things that other boutiques don't don't carry. So I like it because you get different pieces that everybody that you won't see yourself in 15 times. That's why I like it. I like that. It's small, it's cozy, um, it's intimate. Mm -hmm. You know, even though I plan on opening up more stores, Excellent. but um, I come from humble beginners, and this is great for me. I love boutique. And you've been a business owner for about eight years. Yeah, I've been a business owner for about eight years. Um, I started out doing design and gift baskets. A lot of people don't know that I do design and gift baskets. Ooh. I started doing design and gift baskets before I actually spun it to doing the clothing. Um, when I would do um, want my clothing, I'm from Miami. Okay. So Miami is like New York. They got everything. Everything. I would always go back to Miami to the boutiques and shop down there mm. so me and my husband also own a trucking company we own several businesses but um he would always say why do you always go to Miami why don't you just open up your own store I'm like I'm working I ain't got time to open up my own store you know even though I was doing the gift baskets uh -huh. it was like on the weekends okay I'm um, at Daytona Beach Flea Market they okay. were open they were only open three days a week and I would only do Saturday and Sunday because I work Monday through Friday okay so um and I do design and gift baskets for all occasions birthdays baby showers bridal showers weddings anniversary graduation retirement so whenever somebody in my family or friends would have an occasion mm -hmm. um, a birthday I would make a gift basket a wedding I would make a gift basket my son said Mom, why don't you turn that into a business? I'm like, shh, sure, nobody's gonna buy these gift baskets. <laughs> but I know they will because everybody always raves, like, where'd you get that from? Where'd yes. you get that from? I'm like, I made it. So I actually did the research and I turned that into a business. But it was only, like I said, a couple of days a week. Um, and how big was your space when you first started? It started out as a 10 by 10. Okay. 10 by 10 mm -hmm. on the outside. Right. And then I moved on the inside to the air conditioner part, which is fairly new. Mm -hmm. And then um, I had two spaces, so it was a 20 by 20. Wow. Um, and then when I got into fashions, it was a 30 by 30. Oh, my God. For, for, the, for the clothing. And then I had to get another two booths for just the gift baskets. So I had 30 by 30 for the clothing and then 20 by 20 for the gift baskets, you know? Wow. So my husband was like, we're paying a lot of money for this. We need to try to find, you know, a storefront. But commercial um, space is very expensive. It is. And I did that for five, I did the um, flea market for seven years and then seven years for the gift baskets right. and then Five, four years for the clothing. Wow. So after a while, at the flea market, the flea market Daytona wow. Beach flea market, yes. Um, and then after a while, we found this place. We have mm -hmm. been looking. We have been looking. Mm -hmm. And then we found this place. We bit the bullet just close to my house. Mm -hmm. It's in the community. Mm -hmm. So, and we went for it. And here we are. So is that why you're in Orange City? Because it's... 
Um, that's not the only reason. That's one of the reasons okay. to benefit because I only live 10 minutes from here. So <laughs> that, that's great. Isn't but it? we also did research and we did radius. Yes. And they have nothing like that in this area. They have little boutiques and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But nothing of this magnitude or nothing of what I sell. They have, you know, more, um, I guess, urban or hip hop. Yeah. And I have a little bit of everything. And I love My that. motto is I can dress you from the clubhouse to the church house and everywhere in between. In between. So I if love you come that. here and I carry regular and plus size, I, mm -hmm. I carry more plus size and regular only because I sell more plus size and regular. So really? all the little skinny, you know, regular size women such as yourself, <laughs> always complaining. <laughs> Why you don't got this in my size? Well, if y'all come and spend more money, then I can get some of your size. I like that. But, but really, a lot of my customers are plus size. They're mm -hmm. plus size women. I carry all the way up to 4, 5, and 6X. Now, I don't have a lot of 4, 5, and 6X, right. but I do carry some 4, 5, and 6X too as well. Yeah. Okay. So I got some for everybody. And how long have you been here? April the 1st, May, one year. Oh, wow. I've been in the storefront. So it's like a year and a half. A year and like a half. Like a year and a half, yes. And I love it. Oh, I don't plan goodness. on going anywhere. Good. Don't plan on going anywhere, yes. Good. We love having you here. Yes, We yes. really do. So, so let's go back to, because you mentioned something, which is going to bring me to my next question. Okay. You talked about um, we're in the Orange City, so it's big on commercial spaces here. Yes. And we talked about different, there are a couple of other boutiques here, but you're surrounded by chains. Chain stores. What absolutely. separates you? from them. Me, look at me. <laughs> me? Okay, me, literally. My husband asked me that question when we was doing the, we was doing the business plan. Okay. So we was doing the business plan. He's like, you know, there's a lot of boutiques out there. Even if it's not in the area, it's just mm -hmm. a lot of boutiques out there. They're big on online shopping. Right. She said, so what's gonna, what's gonna make you any better than them? What's gonna separate you? I'm like, me, me. I stand behind what I do. Mm -hmm. I'm a people person. We give the best damn customer service anywhere. Me and my employees, we do. Yes. I have a full-time and a part-time employee, okay. so I thank God for that. So I'm not, I don't always have to be here. When things come up, I can kind of maneuver my way. Mm -hmm. um, so me, my girls are good. They're very knowledgeable of what it is that they, that people want it, they don't know. I'm knowledgeable of what I do. And mm -hmm. if I don't know, I don't know everything, but what I don't know, I'll go and I'll find out. You know, I have a business coach. Mm -hmm. So I'll go and find out, I'll Google, I'll use whatever I need to do to satisfy my customers. That's what I do. So I am the person that separates me from the big chains or other boutiques too as well. You know, mm -hmm. I am that person. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so you told me that you, you just said that you have a business coach. Yes. So um, what what kind of guidance do you go and get from your business coach? Um, my business coach has allowed me to open my mind to do things I've never been able to do. Um, for instance, we do these things now that that's called Sip and Shop. Like, I was going to do a Sip and Shop, but she said, why don't you do a color party? I'm like, what is a color party? She says, coming up to spring, women love to wear black. Why don't you do a color party? Like, pop some color in there and call it a color party. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought about doing a color party. It was a major success. So now we do a color party every year. Really? Really every six months, yeah. And we do what we call sipping shops. We do lips and lashes. Lips um, my, and lashes. My daughter-in-law actually, I call her my daughter-in-law, my daughter, but she's my daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. um, she has a lash lounge in um, on New York Avenue in Deland. Mm -hmm. So we combine and we have this um, other woman, at Javi Renee. Uh -huh. She does lips, like she do the popping lips. Yeah. So we did one event that's called Lip Lips, the popping lips and the lashes to highlight her opening for her lashes or lash company. So, um, so we did that. We do sip and shop where you'll come in. Okay. We'll have wine. We'll have hors d'oeuvres, and we'll play little games and we'll give out coupons for you to shop. We do all kind of little things. You gotta stay visible, or they will forget about mm. you. You gotta market yourself in every chance you get. And when I first came here, I can honestly say say that I received a very warm reception because there's nothing in this area. Yes. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. So Primrose actually did an article on me about my grand opening. Wow. So I had a lot of people coming in, oh my God, thank you, welcome to the neighborhood. And I'm glad you're here because we have nothing here. Mm -hmm. So I told them, if you want me to continue to stay here, y'all better come here with y'all pocketbooks and wallets and credit <laughs> card it. and patronize the business <laughs> if you want me to stay here. Because yes. the only way I can continue to stay here is if I, I receive the support, mm -hmm. not only from the community, but from everybody. I have a website, so I ship all over, you know? Okay. So yeah, but I love it here, I absolutely love you. I got nothing but but great, great results here. So not only do you have a storefront, yes. you also have a website. I have a website. I have a website. Online shopping. Online shopping. That's right. And I ship everywhere in the United States or out of the United States. That's www.classy with the K, couture with the K, fashions with the S on the end. Dot com. I love Check it. Check us out. I Check us out. It. Absolutely. Now you were talking about staying relevant. 
Yes. Right? Yes. And staying in the community. I know that um, you we ju you just had a fashion show. Just had a fashion show. Okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. you do this how annually. Often? annually. I do a fashion show um, annually okay. um, once a year. Okay. And I do a white party once a year. Okay. So this is what we decided. <clears throat> we'll do a white party. Um, prior to the fashion show. White party is always in the summertime, okay. June, July. And what that is is the prelude to our fashion show. Mm. Now, I have 14 models. I started with 14. I started like two or three. Uh -huh. And I've grown. I've grown. And the reason I have so many models is because I want every woman to look at one of my models and say, I'm shaped like her. That's my body type. That's how I would look in there. They're different shapes, sizes, colors, ethnicities, background. Mm -hmm. You name it. I, I have all different types. So it ain't no, I don't think I got nothing that somebody can't look at and say, hey, you know, I got big breasts and no butt, mm -hmm. so I would look like that in there. Or mm -hmm. I got an hourglass figure, I would look like that. So that's why I have so many different models, you know? So, yeah. It, I love that because I was actually there at the um, fashion, fashion show, show, which yeah. was so beautiful. It was. And we've got better. Actually, that was my, my, my best. Every year we get bigger and bigger that and larger so and larger. Good. Even the people, you can tell it was a, a, a different kind of yes. uh, crowd this time. Definitely and oh, back to the white party. So what we do is we have the white party, mm -hmm. um, June, July, and we always have the fashion show fall. Okay. You know, about Oct September, October. Um, and, and as a part of our white party, mm -hmm. we do a fashion show within the white party. We have a party. Right. It's a real party. All the models wear white. You know, everybody's supposed to wear white, but you know you got a few that want to step, but I'm going to wear blue, I'm going to wear black, you know, whatever. So we have the white party, and as a part of the, the party, right. we actually do a runway show. So the first year, we just had the models change and just give them a little taste of, of what's what the did, fashion yeah. show okay. for the fashion show. So we did that the first year. Okay. This is our third year. Wow. Um, so, and it was like, you going to do something? I'm like, no. We only did it one time. So every Everybody, mostly men, uh -huh. and I'm gonna tell you, I have more men at my all-white party than I have at the fashion really? show. Really? I do. Because Why do you the, think that? Because men like the party. Okay. Men like, and I like coming to see the women, okay? Sure, sure. But I'm telling you, we have quite a bit of men at the fashion show this year, too. Yeah. We really did. did have a lot of men at the a, fashion a show. Lot. But they're coming to see the, the cuties, too, you know? <laughs> so um, you so I did models. say, so they did say, well, Kim, the next. Um, part of you have, why don't you do more than one runway? Uh -huh. Like one runway show. So and this was the first one that you did? The that first day? one I did, I only did one runway show. Okay. This is my third. Okay. The second year, I added on the second. Like, I let them rip the runway twice. Okay. Um, this year, but then um, my fashion coordinator, Shannon, was like, yeah, but this is a party. Now, if they want to see a fashion show, they need to buy a ticket to come to the fashion show, right. okay? So, and this time, we did two. Well, we let them change right. um, and let them see, you know, kind of get a taste of what our upcoming fashion show mm -hmm. will be like. So, I don't want overkill it because it, it is a party you right. know so and that's how we do the party every um summer and we do the fashion show every fall and it's been it's been great for me this is our third year and i love the fashion show um i know it's very dear and close to your heart absolutely why is that well um this year we decided let me go back um my mother i just talked to my sister my mother actually has alzheimer's um she's kind of in the middle towards the end stage so every year we would do a walk for Alzheimer's. I know a lot of people, a lot of businesses, and everybody focus on cancer, 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 right. cancer all the time. Right. And I have nothing against it. I have friends that's cancer, and mm -hmm. I support them. Mm -hmm. I do the walks and everything. But to me, I wanted to highlight Alzheimer's because nobody really highlights it's, Alzheimer's. It's very so quiet. um Every year for the past three to four years, I, well, we've been doing the walk even before I got here. When we was at the flea market, we was right. doing the walk too. Okay. So I said maybe like four or five years we've been doing the walk every year, me and the girls. And we have mm -hmm. other people, some of my customers come mm -hmm. out. And we have Rita, um, boyfriend, does the t-shirts for us. Okay. One of the models at the t-shirt. And uh, um, Alzheimer's um, colors are purple. So we always get pre purple t-shirts. And of course it says hashtag Team Classic Couture right. and Alzheimer's Walk. Right. Um, so we do that every year. We raise money all throughout the year. Right. And when we get ready to go to the walk, we you know, we turn into money. Mm -hmm. um, a portion of the proceeds from the white party and the fashion show goes to Alzheimer's mm -hmm. to support Alzheimer's. Because hopefully one day in my lifetime they may find a cure, yes. but maybe not. Yeah. So um, this year we incorporated an Alzheimer's scene yes. into the fashion show. Yes. So, and it was, I mean, everybody raved about it. That was my my favorite scene, you know? And I don't want to get all emotional, but it was it was great. It and was what we beautiful. did, we did this 
in statistics. We yeah. had um each I, model. Yeah, uh, each model walked down with a statistic, mm -hmm. and then I was the last person because I I'm gonna be honest. I stay in my lane. I know fashions. <laughs> I can't walk. I got two left feet. I'm I'm not a runway model. I know I know my strengths and weaknesses, okay. and I am not a runway model. But everybody encouraged me, Miss Kim. Please, 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 because this is your. I mean, you wanted yeah, Alzheimer's, yes, and I yeah. did. I actually did. So, and I had the last board that they had, and then what it was is my mom picture everybody that we know that's close to us yeah. sent us pictures of everybody that that's a, that, that um, Alzheimer's has affected. Mm -hmm. So we had them put that on the board and we used that as a part of the fashion show. But it was great. It was great. It was really, it was really great. So that's how we kind of incorporated that into our fashion show. That was one of the things I was very pleased with how it came out. So yes. And I also loved at your fashion show that um, you also have vendors. Yeah, we have vendors too. Absolutely. That was really so cool. what we do is we give um, people and and the local or surrounding communities, whatever, to come out and um, put some spotlight on on their business, you know? Um, and it was it was really good. It was really good. So every year we have vendors. So you come out, you buy a table and you just put spotlight, sell your, you know, promote your business, sell your business or do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. to promote yourself. Yeah. One of the things that you said that I loved so much uh, regarding the fashion show mm -hmm. um, about your models right. is that you wanted, you have different models, different type, body types, um, different nationalities right. there, and you wanted um, the 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 particip not the participants, but the viewers right. there right. to actually make sure they were able to see right. themselves right. Um, with within the models. Right. And I mean, I sat at the table. I had a VIP table. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> and um, I was there with uh, with um, um, a portion of my team. Right. And um, these be two beautiful women, and they were just there, and we exactly that you right. got that accomplished yes. that was definitely done all shapes sizes age ethnicity we you name there, it they yes. were in that fashion show and we were just like oh they were in that fashion show oh i gotta go to the store because i yeah. can see myself in that, that you yes. did that perfectly well Covered and it, yes. i love that about you thank you so with that i'm going to switch gears now because we talked to business owner okay. kim i want to talk to stylist kim okay <laughs> <laughs> okay L let me see what i got for you okay And I want, I just want to get your honest opinion. Okay. Um, and one of them is that for me and a lot of women, and I, I don't know why people say average, the average women are really regular size is what, 12? 12, 14, that's right. 12, 14. It really is. 16 okay. now, really. Okay. 14, 16. Yes. It's regular size. Okay. And majority of us, our problem area is our midsection. Absolutely. What, what um, advice would you give when it's, when we're getting dressed? What 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 should we do? What should we, what we should, what should we avoid when we're getting dressed? Okay, it's always a saying about black. I used to be one of those people. Mm -hmm. Not that I gravitated to black, but what I what I saw, I liked it. Always was in black. Mm -hmm. But I can say black does have a lot of imperfections that you can't see. Mm -hmm. White shows everything, mm -hmm. any dimple, everything. Mm -hmm. Black kind of camouflages that. Okay. So most women are drawn to black. Personally, me. Even though, and I used to be small, mm -hmm. I'm still fine though, now don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I love color. I love color. I'm not one that shy away from color. Mm -hmm. um, most women like black, and my thing I want to get you to see, and you got to go by your skin tone too. Okay. For me, I'm light skinned. I can almost wear anything. Yellow, mm -hmm. I can't. It doesn't. It's, it blends into my skin. It look like nothing. Mm -hmm. Mustard, I can. Okay. So you can. I can almost wear any color. Right. But. I can't wear anything. So when they say one size fit all, they lie. One size does not fit all. Mm. It may fit, but how you gonna look in it? Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Um, you gotta dress. A lot of women don't know their body type. Okay. Well, you need to. Okay. That. They need to know their body type. Okay. One size don't fit all, and what look good on me ain't gonna look good on you, and right. vice versa. Right. I'm gonna give you like somebody that has an hourglass figure. That mm -hmm. means you know. Bust, mm -hmm. small waistline, narrow waistline, and wide hips. Mm -hmm. They can wear a body con, and it'll look good on them because mm -hmm. it'll show off their curves. Okay. They got the hourglass figure, so they can almost wear anything. Okay. Now, I wouldn't dress somebody with an hourglass figure with somebody got an apple, an apple body shape. Okay. And the apple's really, like, round up in here. Okay. Broad shoulders, broad torso, mm -hmm. undefined midriff section, mm -hmm. small legs. Mm -hmm. They would wear something like a uh, V-neck. 
okay. that will bring, yeah, it'll bring, um, it'll bring uh, to the breast, you know, it'll bring okay. attention to the breast. Okay. And not, and it'll take it away from here. Okay. And even the top, you'll wear something um, loose fitting. Okay. So it'll, it'll flow, it'll look good on you, but it'll flow. I like and that. It, and, it, and it won't show, it'll That's take, right, right exactly. Yeah, it'll okay. take away from that area. Okay. And then you they can wear something that's a, a pencil skirt. Mm -hmm. So because they have small legs, it'll bring out their legs, mm -hmm. you know? So you just gotta know the different body types and how to dress people, you know? Oh, and everybody that. actually coming up, my business coach coming up. She and things that I never thought that I could make money from. She's like, right. girl, you got a business. You can have a lot of streams of income. So stuff that I give advice on, she said, no, you gonna do a class. I'm like, do a class? I can just talk about it. I'm like, well, that's stuff they can Google, but they're not going to. Correct. So what you're gonna do, you are an expert in your field. So I'm working on um um, like working out, doing research, and doing get all my notes together. Mm -hmm. Next year, I'm gonna open up a class. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a class, and I'm gonna um, have a class on how to dress for your body type. So I'm encouraging wow. all women that don't, even if you know your body type, I can just give you pointers and let you know what'll work and what won't work mm -hmm. for your body type. It will be a class, and you're gonna have to pay for my information. I'm just saying. I, okay? You need to let me know. Yeah, I will. I, I will. But you and, and then people that don't even that didn't think that'll look good on you. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna do a class. We're gonna do a demonstration. I got a whole Store so full great. of clothes. You so not only am I gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you. Okay. You know, I'm a visual person, so mm -hmm. I want to see. Mm -hmm. I want to. Yeah, you telling me, but show me. So I'm gonna show them what, how how to dress for their body types. I love that. Absolutely. So let's go back to um, your your saying when when you talk about um, what you actually have in your store and okay. and how you can actually dress women. Um, and you can dress them for all occasions. All so occasions. I'm, I'm gonna throw out some occasions okay, to you. Okay. Okay. So I, it's hot date night with hubby. Okay. And um, we're going to the movies. Okay. Um, I, I want to look cute. Right. Because I gotta look cute. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> so what what would in the store? What would um what would you dress me in? Okay. So you going out date night? Where you going like, to movie yeah, in the restaurant? Movie. Movie, okay. Maybe oh, I like that. Dinner okay. later. I like. Right. Yeah, okay. Set the scene. Set so the scene. I will, okay. I'll set the scene. Now you come in. Hey, I'm going to a date night with mm -hmm. hubby. Mm -hmm. I want something nice yeah. and sexy to wear out with yeah. hubby. Because at the end of the night, after this doing a movie, you know, uh -huh. you know what y'all gonna do. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. Okay. So you want to tease him just a little bit. Give him a little taste. Yeah. So I would dress you in maybe a nice maxi dress. Ooh. It got a couple of slits. Mm. So it's not too revealing, right. you know? Yeah. So, you know, while y'all at dinner, you know, you can kind of footsie with him, and he can kind of feel <laughs> on your leg a little bit, you know? I love and kind of get, yeah, yeah. kind of get the, you know, set the atmosphere, whatever. Okay. And then maybe a little off the shoulder, because that shows a little sexiness, you yeah. know, with some slits. And I think that'll be nice for the occasion. Like Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. I am hanging with the girl. Okay. Um, we're going to, oh, I love this. My girlfriends and I do this all the time. Okay. Brunch. Okay. Um, just... You know, and I'm one of those that I love jeans right. and heels. Right. What kind of outfit? I just got this beautiful dress in. I ain't even got it out yet, mm -hmm. but we was talking about we, what we would wear it to. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice, the top of it is black. Uh -huh. The bottom of it is see-through, but it got pearls in it. Okay. You put some jeans up under that, you roll the jeans up, like right up under your knee, throw uh -huh. some heels with it, and out to go. Now, if you really want to dress it up because you got the jeans up underneath, yes. throw on a jean jacket. You can dress it up or dress it down. Now, you can dress it up with the pumps, right. and then, or you can dress it down with some sandals. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, to see the see-through at the bottom with the pearls, yes. you can put some short, now, my young girl, <laughs> gonna put some Daisy Duke jeans on it. Right. A sexy old woman like me gonna put on some jeans and roll them up. I like throw that. My, and throw on my, my jean yes. shoes, throw on my jean jacket, uh -huh. but it's see-through at the bottom, but you got on jeans and just rock out with your girls. Y'all gonna I go to a brunch, that. you gonna go to a movie, you gonna hang out, yes. go shopping. Yes. That'll do it. I love That'll that. That'll do it, absolutely. I have... I'm going to a fundraiser. A okay. gala fundraiser. Absolutely. And um, I'm hosting. Okay. What would you dress me in? I do something long, mm -hmm. um, very curvy that would show off your your figure. Mm -hmm. um, something um, like a gay, like a black tie, like yeah. a black tie. Yeah. So it'd be something not necessarily black, right? But for a black tie affair, a nice long maxi dress, mm -hmm. maybe a little off the shoulder, right. a nice statement piece. I would make it kind of plain, mm -hmm. but I would pop on a statement piece. Ooh. So when you walk in. It, I mean, All it says eyes. nothing. That's right. You can have a plain dress and do a statement, um, statement um, jewelry piece, yes. um, accessory, uh -huh. and it'll just, that's all you need. 
with something plain. Or you can do a nice, a nice um, dress, mm -hmm. a statement dress, mm -hmm. and just put on just some long earrings, yeah. you know, according to what you wear with no necklace, mm -hmm. just according to which, what look you're looking for, you know? Yeah, like but I can that. dress you, honey, for any occasion. Sunday church. For any occasion, yeah. Oh, we got suits yeah. back there, but I realize now, because I dress some first ladies. Uh-huh. But I realize nowadays they're not wearing suits anymore. No. They're not. You know they're wearing body concert right? church. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I ain't calling no names, but the first ladies went by the college church, I'm just saying. I dress them, though. I dress them. I dress them. But what I do know is they like to wear, like, their little skirts. Yeah. And I have jackets, too. Like, for instance, I got this long, beautiful jacket right here. Uh -huh. Like, this is um, a cape jacket, so you can wear a nice, we just put that there. Right. But you can wear a nice black skirt with that. I like that. Or long pants with that. Mm -hmm. And then just Ooh, open it up, yeah. That yeah. is really so, nice. Yeah, so a lot of them not. And when I first opened my store, I bought a lot of suits. When I first opened, they were selling fast. I got it right back there. I'm trying to get rid of it because people are just not wearing no, suits, suits anymore, anymore to church. Right? They're just not. But I can dress them. I can dress them. Wow. They don't like, like, like a lot of ruffles and fluff, you yes, know? That's yeah. what they're going to. That's going to a lot of ruffles and stuff. And I have a lot of that here, too. And all those different styles that we just talked about, mm -hmm. they're here. In they're the here, store. absolutely. Or Regular online. and plus size. I love that. Yeah, they're here. I you love can get that. It. Absolutely. Kim. We are about to just kind of wrap up here. So okay. I just want you to tell everybody where they can find you. Absolutely. So let's give them your information. Okay. Classic Tour Fashion Boutique. We're located at 1209 Saxon Boulevard, Suite Number 9 in Orange City, Florida. You can call our store at 386-473-7363. And our um, website is www.classy with a K, couture with a K, Fashions with the S on the end dot com. We're right off of I four exit one oh eight on Saxon Boulevard. Oh my gosh, yes. I love you. Thank you Thank so you. much for I appreciate having it. us. Thank you for having me. Oh my goodness, this was so great. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, please, please follow us on Instagram, um, Snapchat, Twitter. It is in my city twenty eighteen and like us on Facebook in my city central FL. I'm your host. Lori Lovell Barr, and this was In My City.